Welcome everyone back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is One Piece, Netflix live action, episode one, Romance Dawn. We are brand new, One Piece virgins, don't know anything about it, uh, other than, uh, you, we, we, <laughs> we saw the OPs, like, we saw the two OPs. years ago, and, uh, I don't remember anything about it. Yeah, uh, well, we remember a couple things, but that's not relevant yes. to this, probably. Anyway, yeah, we're, we're very, we're fresh to it, we don't, we have never seen One Piece, but we are, un, unlike a lot of the people who might, you might have seen reactions to, uh, who are just in, like, into movie reactions or t Western TV show reactions, we are, like, Firmly anime people. We've seen all of, we reacted to all of Naruto that you can check out on our other main channel. Boldcast mm -hmm. is a channel just for One Piece. If you just like One Piece reactions, it's the place to be. Um, uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we're big into anime reactions. We're big into discussion and analysis type stuff. That's kind of our, our main brand as reactors and what kind of separates us apart. And we're, we're, you know, here for the One Piece ride. We're gonna be watching this live action series. We're very excited mm -hmm. to check it out. There's a lot of buzz about it. It's the big it thing right now. And uh, after that, we're gonna be reacting to the anime. Uh, we yes. have a channel We have a, a channel trailer explaining more in depth all that stuff, but basically the gist is we're, we're watching One Piece, finally, after all these years. Mm -hmm. And um, I, was, I wasn't sure how much, I, 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 at the beginning I wasn't super interested in live action. Because generally, Western stuff for us is not like the it thing, but a lot of people, especially One Piece fans, are like really into this. Mm -hmm. It's like a big deal, and it seems like a bigger deal than I had anticipated. You know, like yeah, I thought that it was gonna flop. So the fact that it didn't, and people are recommending it, we had like droves. a poll. Obviously, the anime won in the poll. If you, if you're coming from our other channel, we were gonna kind of watch the anime anyway. So we just wanted to see if this was even worth checking out before we did that, and uh, it, it seemed to be it seemed to be that it was. So we're gonna watch it, and uh, then we're gonna watch the anime. We're not gonna start at episode like forty, whatever. We're gonna start back at episode one of yeah. the anime, even if it's repetitive. It's obviously gonna be different because it's just a different format. There's probably a bunch of stuff that the live action left out or like paced differently, mm -hmm. and. Um, and maybe we'll have a discussion afterwards, like on the differences or something, if, yeah. if people are interested in that. Yeah. Um, and like what we maybe like better about each one or something. Yeah, I think so. And it's, you know, really interesting. It's, I, I thought that this was going to be like, I was worried and we'll see, may, we'll, we'll see at the end of it. Like I said, we're big into reviews and discussions and stuff. So we'll, we'll discuss our gripes with it at the very end, but if we have any or, you know, what, whatever we thought about it. But I was afraid when I started hearing about people, especially leading up with all the trailers and everything, everybody was talking about it. And it seemed like, because One Piece fans are just insane that this is going to be like a decent live action adaptation but more of like a, a Marvel movie-ly movie type thing where the One Piece fans are just insane about it and, and just love it so much that it was, you know, a decent show. But it seems, from what I've seen and from the vibe that I get from him talking mm -hmm. to people, it seems like it, it is kind of transcending that, which is always a good thing when you get into adaptations. Like mm -hmm. when, when you, people love like the source material or like are in the, the know about this thing and then it gets adapted and then, oh my God, it's so good, but like, it doesn't really transcend. This is kind of like reaching out towards mm -hmm. normal people. So as anime fans who are into, you know, the anime style and all that kind of thing, it, it, it appeals to us on a general level just because of that. But then to also know that it goes beyond the merit of just the fandom being excited about a new thing to do with their thing, mm -hmm. it lends a lot more credence to it. And, uh, it looks interesting, so I think yeah. we should just check it out. I think so. Check out patreon.com slash boldcast. We're using the same Patreon for this channel and our main channel. You can check out our main channel to see all our other reactions to mm -hmm. other things. We got live reactions to other live action stuff over there. House of the Dragon, Last of Us. We also have Naruto reactions over there and Hunter Hunter reactions over there. And a whole bunch of other things, non ones piece related. Uh, so you can go check out our other channel, Boldcast. That's the link in the description. You can check out our Patreon to get a month ahead on all of our reactions across both of our channels, One Piece and otherwise. And uh, make sure to subscribe here to this channel and help us get off on the right foot because it's a new thing for us. It's a big deal that we're starting this channel. And uh, we hope that it, it turns out well. So mm -hmm. all of your support is super uh, helpful. And uh, if you really want to, you know, help move things along, yeah, make sure to leave like and subscribe. Yeah, we channel to just be an epic failure. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying all this, we're like we got a, a lot of big risk. hopes. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of big hopes and we're putting a lot into this and then it's just like 200 views. I just made it even worse if there actually is 200 views on this, but yeah. We'll be crying in the corner if that's the case. Anyway, leave like and subscribe, leave a comment if you don't want that to happen. <laughs> 
and uh, check out another video on this channel if you want to really help us out. That's like the best thing that you can do for a YouTube channel is after you watch one video, you just instantly go to another one on the same channel. So uh, yeah, all of those things, pick one of those and do them. Pick one of those 20 things that I said and do them. Anyway, let's check out this reaction. You, you need to start saying, search for the what, that one piece down in the comment section, like a new thing. <laughs> oh, speaking <laughs> of- hunt for your dream. Speaking of searching for, yeah. Speaking of searching for the one piece, uh, Lindsay is known to be incredible at predicting I'm things. Psychic. Big Brain Lindsay is her nickname. So if you want to know what the One Piece is or where it is or what, just I don't wait even till know. I figure it out. Yeah. In, a, in a couple episodes. She, she's the kind of person who could just pull shit out of thin air and predict it instantly. So uh, that's some incentive right there if you're a manga reader. Anyway, okay. Oh boy, oh boy. This is a world like no other. One brimming with mystery and teeming with danger. Filled with hundreds of islands strewn across vast seas. And throughout these seas are those who live according to their own rules. Well, they're all different pirate ships. Mm -hmm. And adventure. This is a world of pirates. Scourge upon this world. Logue Town. 22 years ago. One thing I do know is about Goldie Roger. Is this gonna be him? Look. Looking like Captain Hook over here. Is the, the mustache. Peace. One piece. There's somebody in a hood in the crowd. Roger. You have been sentenced to death. Is this that Scottish guy? For the crimes of piracy. No. I think I know who you're thinking of. Conspiracy against the world government. You have any last words? Yeah. Take these off. Starting to itch. You brought this upon yourself. That I did. Now I'm bringing it to one and all. And by the authority of the world government. <laughs> I declare your life forfeit. Where is your treasure? Whoa. You guys dripped out. Who's that guy? Where's your treasure? Where's One Piece? <laughs> you want to know where my treasure is? I'll tell you. How? Straw hat. I found everything this world has to offer. Free yourselves. Take to the seas. My treasure is yours to buy. Basically, go find it, lol. <laughs> These guys seriously thought that, the, that this was gonna help stop piracy? This guy has just, like, <laughs> taken piracy to an entirely new level. You should not have pirates given- Pirates <laughs> have never been so invested in being pirates as they are at this exact moment. You really shouldn't have let him talk. It looks like we're getting a lot of shots of, like, younger versions of probably characters mm. that we're gonna see later. I'm seeing, like, people with suspiciously, that, like, like, bright- out the wardrobes and, outfits, and yeah. yeah. Old Roger's final words changed the world forever. The great pirate era. <laughs> Setting off a race across seas to find the pirate king's hidden treasure. The One Piece. I don't know where they got this one piece from. He said nothing about that. He just listed like an abstract idea. And he was says like... the one piece in the show, I think. <laughs> he didn't say, uh, did he say the one piece? No. <laughs> Shangs? Not exactly, calling because I pretty much can't swim. <laughs> but you get the idea. Follow my dream. They got the scar looking the nice. Piece. And become King of the Pirates! Who's he talking to? Who's He's blood talking a documentary. to? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you need a bigger boat. I don't think you can fit anyone else there. Man and the bird. Oh. Not gonna be easy. The ocean is, is pretty big. So what did he say? Me. <laughs> just shits on his boat and leaves. He's just trying to recruit like anybody who will listen He's to me. He's practicing his speech bird. in case anyone's listening. You better get to. Yeah, I think you need to. Oh. Uh, really? He doesn't have that like Jack Sparrow drip of like riding up to the dock and stepping off. 
I would have kept a few fish in there. <laughs> to eat or some of that fruit. What's that sound? Jesus Christ. This is my worst nightmare. <laughs> is is being in that in the water. Look at this boat. I like that. We even have pink cannonballs. The aesthetic is very strong. Yeah. It explodes into pink glitter. Doesn't seem incredibly effective as like a cannonball <laughs> if they just explode into it's confetti. It's for the aesthetics. Whoa. Alvida? These people are super strong. Just like holding on with one hand and like just like <laughs> smack someone right in the face. Jesus! Oh my god! Is that blo There's blood yeah. in this? Oh. Get a list of pirates and their bounty. And of course, I was at the top. But actually, you were very close into water. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't deserve that! Jesus! Uh, clean up this mess. Come How did Draco Malfoy and Harry Potter's <laughs> child end up on this boat? <laughs> <laughs> Rudius <laughs> Draco Malfoy Potter. Do you have any food here? What? I'm starving. He's got an interesting accent. Who's Lovita? This is her ship. She's captain of the Yumpia Pirates. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. The pirates are scum. They're thieves and murderers. Not the pirates I know. What pirates do you know? Like, just you and one <laughs> other guy <laughs> that inspired you and gave you his hat? I guess this sh uh, Shanks person. Shanks, he's back. The sets are crazy good yeah. in this. Oh, I love those windmills. Ooh, windmill village. I like this song as well. Marine. True. Just gonna stab, stab himself? <laughs> ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? I thought he stabbed himself in the eye for a second. I, I forgot about the scar. Holy shit! This guy's insane. Is he doing that so he could wear an eye patch and be a real pirate? <laughs> he was aiming for his eye, but he missed. <laughs> Proving that he sucks even more. Some about the vibe of him is like very intriguing and very off-putting at the same very time. Very Aaron Yeager, he's just like, freedom is the only thing. So why don't you just leave? I want to leave Alfia. She'll never let me go. You should never let anyone tell you what you can't do. <laughs> if I did that, I never would have left my village to go find the One Piece. Pirate in the world is off to that. Why should I be the one to find it? As soon as I'm out of here, I'm on my way to the Grand Line. Pirate graveyard. Grand Line? Hundred foot waves. What's a Grand Line? Beasts that'll crush your bones. Once you enter the Grand Line, you never return. <laughs> Sounds kind of fun. <laughs> He's just I like him. <laughs> he is he is a lot like him. Is, is that is that one of the sea beasts? It's just Albedo snoring. If you want to get out of Is that what we heard when he was out on the water? A sea beast? Everyone's just oh, on the deck. Got any one of these? Head you north. Should it land in a few days? North. Which way's gonna wait? Oh my god. <sighs> what the hell is going on up there? Bro. <laughs> He's like ready for an approaching ship. I can explain. You dare betray me to a bounty hunter. No, that's not it. Oh. Hey, you. You're too scrawny to be Robert Nozoro. <laughs> I'm Mookie Dee. You never heard of you. Well, remember the name. Because I'm going to be king of the pirates. <laughs> <laughs> you must be new around here, boy. Because who is the most powerful pirate on the sea? <laughs> I like that because it's just like literally not like they on the, she wasn't even on the list for those other people. She's got a bunch of clubs though. Who's the most powerful pirate on the sea? Answer me, you sniveling rant. He doesn't have to. <laughs> He's mine. And he'll always be mine. That's not what he told me. 
snitching him out. <laughs> Why are you? You're as dumb as a sea cow. Because I'll be I didn't. Jesus. Oh. Maybe she can just take out her entire crew. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so I knew about that. Uh. <laughs> I knew he could do that. I just don't know why, and I hope that there's some kind of explanation, or maybe he's just a weird dude. <laughs> I know why, but I won't say. Damn. She's the soil lanterns. Somebody better take. Oh my god! There's water! There's water everywhere! <laughs> what is this ship made out of film stock? You just tanked that shit. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> you just killed that lady! Are they gonna save her? They don't like her. I don't think, anyway. Anyone else got a problem with Kobe? Come on. Me? Yeah. You're coming with me. Right? <laughs> Fire. Why don't you just take this boat? That, that's what I was thinking. You just I mean, killed her. Is, is she dead? I bet she'll show up later in the show and be like, Monkey D. Luffy, you fucking asshole. Sixus Island. Oh. I think I know who this is. You can come out. People often visit shrines to light candles for those they've lost. Who are yours for? This one is for someone I knew a long time ago. And the other? You've been following me for three years. <laughs> no, for, for you, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I represent an organization known as Baroque Works. We are interested in your unique set of skills. Pirate, hunter, Roruno Azoro. <laughs> what are you? Some band of assassins? We are much, much more. Kinda got my own thing going on. Membership would make you even more invincible, more feared. Does it come with a free face tattoo? My favorite is number one. <laughs> to turn down Baroque Works is to forfeit your life. If they were that serious, they should have sent someone better than number seven. Shit, <laughs> sword fight? That was a nice shot. This guy's doing a lot of really dramatic moves. I feel like he's expending a lot of energy jumping around. I mean, this is just what anime looks like when you do it in real I life. I guess so. <laughs> Blew out all the candles. That was sick. They be killing people in this show. Whoa! And that was gore? Gross. I did not expect gore. I feel like that's a good place to pause too. Okay, so that fight I think was really good. I just want to say, and the, those two fights, mm -hmm. I feel like they're like the perfect thing. And I imagine they thought about this when they were making the show of like, how can we do anime fights in real life without it looking like too dumb. Like, like they had the opportunity to like, um, when Zoro was like sword fighting the guy, when he'd get like a big attacker, like when he'd really catch him off guard to like speed up the footage and like zoom so that he looks like he, his mm -hmm. swung his sword really fast or something like that, like some weird camera work like that. But I feel like they, what they, the choices they made were dramatic and cool and the shots were good and the composition was nice. And it got across like the otherworldly, like fantasy pirate movie aesthetic that they're going for. Yeah. And it feels like they didn't go too far, which is what I would what I would would have been afraid of, I think, mm -hmm. if I was a, a big One Piece fan. I liked that it wasn't too dark. This is something that I'll just say, like, is that I liked at the night shots, it wasn't just like completely black and I yeah. couldn't see it at all. That's something that we talk about a lot in like any live action thing that we watch is that it's just like too dark yeah. and there's no light. So I, I, I like the candles in that, how you could like really see everything and like kind of the moonlight and like lantern glow of stuff. It, I, I, I liked it and thought that it, that was well done. That was really sick. Rest in peace, Alvita. I wasn't expecting Luffy to kill a per I mean, maybe she's not dead, but to, yeah. to potentially, I mean, he, he like, who's who's to say that she's not as yeah, far I mean, from his perspective. There's sharks in that water. I you mean, don't know. He, he says he knows about sea out, beasts. Knocked her out. 
in the water. That's drowning. And he's like, oh, is that a sea beast? He knows there's sea beasts out there, whatever that means. I, mean, he just, I think he just doesn't care. I, 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 I'm getting gone vibes. I know, <laughs> I'm really getting gone vibes from this guy. And I, I, <laughs> In a good way. Is it, is I it, like Luffy a lot. It is a good way. He's definitely, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm interested to compare this to the anime and how yeah. that starts off because there's something about this guy that I feel like I love because he looks like slightly unhinged and like he's just like smile, like just the way that he smiles, it comes across as so genuine, but like I'm kind of terrified and he's just, like, you know what I mean? Like it's the kind of thing that like, he's really, really passionate so it's really real but it's like kind of unsettling <laughs> because he's just like you know saying stuff that could get someone killed if he wasn't literally invincible then he yeah. could have got shot in the chest and then the other guy would have died yeah. and that would have been the end of the show yeah so uh yeah I'm, I'm interested to see how the rest of this episode goes uh and I'm really interested to later on be able to compare this to the start of the anime and like see, see the differences there right Of a long story. I <laughs> guess you didn't get your arm. I was aiming for it. <laughs> That's literally what we said where he was trying to be a pirate. I am. It's a treasure. <laughs> that was a pathetic kick. Stupid treasure. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna swipe Is that, that the thing one that's, piece? Wor that's worth more than the rest of the loot combined. I really hope he doesn't get his mentor like killed or something. I feel like the guy's definitely dead. I mean, yeah, he's got his hat. Oh my god, is that One Piece? <laughs> no. It's like... I think I know what that is. What a psycho. Oh, it's like radioactive. Oh. It's like Play-Doh. It's Play-Doh. I wonder if it literally is. Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't know why you would do that. Didn't even look edible. I wonder if in the anime or in the manga, he's just like a really dumb, dopey kid and he just like, oh, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like it looked really tasty, you know? <laughs> Stand up guy. Yeah. See, he could have turned that into a fight. Mm -hmm. How can you let him insult you like that? All he did was spill a drink on me. But you should have fought back. Why didn't you kick his ass? So what's the point of killing people? For... Can be with violence. Yeah. A man needs to be it's a valuable strong. lesson. Clearly one he didn't learn. You're not a real man. I told you you weren't ready. Wait, Luffy. Imagine how disturbing that would be. What did you do? You ate our our bount our treasure? What have you done? He ate that fruit and I bet. I, ate the devil fruit. I didn't know you better. I bet that's gonna get him killed. It turned my body into rubber. I didn't know any better. I think you were just being a little bit spiteful. <laughs> just turn your body into a sail. You see the both in the background. I'll navigate. <laughs> Did you kill those people? I mean, he didn't break the lantern. You probably pick one of those up. I have made a mistake. I should have left Alvito. Kobe. Are you? Are you talking to me like that right now? You shouldn't have left. Yes, there's new thing, but it's done. If he says kiss a girl, I'm gonna jump off this boat. <laughs> What's that for? You being dumb. Now spit it out. <laughs> Does that sound like? I kind of. I've always wanted to be a marine. I wanted to protect people that can't protect themselves. Hmm. <laughs> His face, man. <laughs> so if that's what you want, I think you should do it. 
Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this left now. You can't just waltz into a green base and ask for a map for the Grand Line. Don't worry. I'm stealthy. He says with yeah <laughs> zero stealth <laughs> with the zero boat exploding stealth. by. Yeah. Elsewhere in the mm. East Blue. I think I know who this is too. She looks pretty fine for being attacked by pirates. I bet she's lying. I think she's a scammer. <laughs> I think she's a scammer. She's like got her makeup done. <laughs> it's like <laughs> There's like something in there that's gonna like explode in their face. I think you're right. I think you're hundred I think we're right. There's nothing. Oh then she's just gonna like Oh, she's on their boat. Pushes their boat off. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Rescue. Easy clap. <laughs> I like this song as well. I the soundtrack yeah. for this show is really good so far. Really good. Only one way I'm going to get inside that base. And it's not on an empty stomach. <laughs> Come on. Are we about to have the scene of the shonen protagonist just chowing down like how, 50 pounds I think, of Is his hair dyed pink because he was on her crew and she like dyed his hair pink because everything's pink? Probably. Do you have any money? He's a pirate. Oh shit. Oh, I'm seeing if there's a bounty for him. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? I know that guy looked. Who's that guy? He looked like an anime character. <laughs> All these guys look like soldiers. Who is that? Is Creepy the body child? gonna be gone? Right. Gonna buy you a drink. Oh, they're all there. Gang's all here. Too tall. <laughs> she needs a short bald guys. <laughs> I feel like they're pandering, or is this a scam? It's another, it's another part type of a scam. scam. What's this? Rice box. You made them yourself. She's gonna steal his clothes and then break in, probably, to get a map. You stupid, stupid girl. Bruh. What do you watch where you're going? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Next time when it won't be so nice. <laughs> yeah, Scoops it off the floor. Oh, yeah, literally. He's hardcore. He doesn't give a shit. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Very convincing. <laughs> He's the scariest Oompa Loompa I've ever seen in my life. Do you know who I am? I should hit Marine with the bad haircut. I wouldn't do that. Why do you pull a sword on a guy that has three swords? <laughs> oh. Okay. Doesn't even draw. Oh, this guy's cool. <laughs> I mean, this guy is pretty cool. Join my crew. Every, everything that we've seen from him, he's just being like a complete badass. Luffy's gonna be like, join my crew. He's like, all right, how much you paying? Nothing. Do you have join a boat? Join my crew. No. <laughs> oh, you're a pirate? He's, he's a pirate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seen so much potential in these people. <laughs> Shouldn't draw your blade unless you're prepared to use it. Don't kill me, please. My father will give you anything you want. Who's your father? Captain Morgan. He's in charge of the Marine base. Like the like the like that Captain Morgan? Yeah, he me Captain Morgan's rich around these parts. Fucking pirates. Love rum. Again, I'm probably like the fiftieth reactor to make that joke, but you can try to arrest me. But your brat will be the first one I kill. Hey! He can't speak to me that way! <laughs> <laughs> Deal. <laughs> promise? <laughs> yeah, a promise. Working for the same team. People keep trying to hire this guy. Kinda got my own thing going on. Doesn't leave much time for playing dress up. It's a shame to lose a man of your talents. 
since you won't be able to collect a bounty at any marine base once I get the word out. So, what's it gonna be? It's a dangerous thing to say. Or the art. If I just kill you all right now. Seven days. Easy. I can catch up on my sleep. How about you help me get them all ready? You can handle that, right? I guess so. What are you gonna do? I'm working on that. Go in the sewage system. Oh, Johnny English over here. Yeah. <laughs> For my taste, then. The great demon. <laughs> More like a misbehaving puppy tied up. This guy was so well cast. Like, you just want to punch him in the what face as soon as you look at him. Sit up and beg. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you think my father's gonna let you go? My father. You are going to die in this yard. I want to see that guy do like somebody try to stab him with a sword. He's just like doing all these crazy contortions and flips. I feel like, oh yeah, look at her. She's, oh, she's breaking in, sneaking in. I like how, how they haven't said her name yet. Just once again being so loud and not stealthy at all. Nobody's guarding him. I mean, he's hey, tied up. You're the guy from the bar. <laughs> These you're shots lost. are nice looking. I am lost. <laughs> I'm trying to get inside the base. <laughs> hey, I saw the way you fight. How did they even arrest you? They didn't. I gave myself up. Interesting choice. <laughs> I'm sure you had your reasons. <laughs> you don't know anything about me. I know that you protected that little girl from those marines last night. You're a good guy. <laughs> I'm Noah, so He's just like, I don't have the, the energy father. for this right now. Well, I'm Monkey D. Luffy, and I will be the king of the pirates. And I think you should join my crew. <laughs> third Were person, you third time's listening the listening to me? What makes you think I'd want to play pirates with you? You're a great fighter. I said that together we'd make a pretty good team. I'm going to get the one piece. So you're kind for a living. <laughs> Pirate hunter. You keep saying that. <laughs> is that all you are? Mm. Is that all you want? I made a promise to someone a long time ago. To become the world's greatest swordsman. President. <laughs> so psychotic looking. <laughs> In a good way. You can untie me, but I'm still not going to join your crew. Okay. I mean it. Well, I when the Marines are coming after you, you're not going to have much I'm of a choice. Of I've got a boat help. waiting. <laughs> Here, there's something you want out there. Hey, can you close this behind me? <laughs> Can't you close it yourself? You have in, in, extendable arms. Thanks. Good thing no one's guarding this highly confidential map room. Yeah. Hey, you're not supposed to be in here. How do you Dad know? Dad's working with me to find a map of the Grand Line ahead of his security briefing this afternoon. Why would he do that? All maps pertaining to the Grand Line are kept under lock and key in his private office. I'm just following orders, but if you want to question Axan Morgan, be my guest. Sure. Hey, we don't have any maps of the Grand Line down here, do we? No, we didn't get any. Hey. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Big stick. How does it collapse? It looks just like wood. Magic. Oh, she she just. Oh, I thought she was just leaving. Oh, she's <laughs> just steals his clothes again for no reason. <laughs> These duct systems are just insane. Mm -hmm. I know, I thought he was in the sewer. Like, how did he get in the ceiling? <laughs> 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 just share this, like. Oh, oh, wait, hey, hey, no. 
don't do that. I'm <laughs> your map. Yep, my map to the grand line. It's my map, and I'm not leaving here without it. <laughs> yourself. Hey, hey, get back here. The acting of the main character is actually really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Must have been my imagination. Well, they only Someone saw her there. when she was in a uniform. I don't think that- I think they're implying they didn't see oh. her. <laughs> Someone there. <laughs> this look on his face, I can't get over it. There's like this look that he's not really seeing what's in front of him until he like sees what he actually wants. She could pretend to have apprehended him. What's that? What, what the hell? What the hell is going on here? Oh, he's trying to look cool in the mirror with this cool sword. Yeah. Wow, he what a, a badass. He's had a, a self-portrait. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Escorting this prisoner to the break. He was arrested for causing a disturbance in the square. See, she's smart. I've never seen you before. Oh god. A transfer from the 77th, sir. What's your name, Private? Mommy, sir. I put in a request to serve under your command. What a choice. I expect great things from you. Yeah. She's the best. I, I mean, she's the best of the worst. What is this? I, <laughs> I can't even move. I can't deal with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this, this face he keeps making. We make a good team. Y'all blew our cover. <laughs> all we have to do is figure out a way to get to the accident's office. By the way, we're laughing at him, but it's it's, it's because it's, it's, good. it's it's working. That's. I really use someone like you and my crew, you know that? Let's get one thing straight. I am never joining anything with you. I hate pirates. Hate them. Oh, so your family was killed by pirates. Now you hold this grudge. Except you secretly... Well, not even secretly. She, she, she's going... She's, she's <laughs> she will. getting the map. Yeah. Uh, The soundtrack is so good. This guy really likes himself. Like father, like son. I wish this came out when I was like 10. Yeah. I would have loved this. Okay, now how do you get into here? Oh, just- She's a thief. She could probably pick a lock. All right, now where are my fucking keys? What's going on here? Look at I just noticed his pants, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Anime fight incoming. I love the pan flute. The no, there are 50 other thieves and idiot pirates trying to steal a map. But at the end of that, it's just an idiot. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you there? Just let her do it. Kidding. But you might want to work a little faster. Oh, he's got to hold him off. <laughs> Why did he just start sitting in that chair? Wait, he's strong too? <laughs> Maybe not. Careful to just shit your pants. Oh, just the torque. The tension from his... The whole thing comes out. Or is he just stealing the entire thing? Oh shit. This is where Zoro shows up. Yeah. 
<laughs> Did you see him in the background? <laughs> no, he I just didn't. jumps at people. <laughs> <laughs> Although he surprises himself with everything he does. It's like a toddler, like every day is like <laughs> a new discovery. Ah, uh, but I have a debt. I have a debt to that fool. These people don't even, they don't hear the alarm. <laughs> just in the market. They don't care. They're, 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 what are they going to do about it? I bet it? this shit happens every week. Is he just going to yeah, leave? It wasn't, it, really, like this idiot could break in here. Oh, the tide's going to turn. Oh, here we go. Oh. The imposter, the pirate hunter, and the prisoner. Fancy That's a sick shot. Three of you working together. Yeah. You're a crew. <laughs> nope. Not, not a crew. Together. <laughs> no enemy has ever escaped my wrath. I alone defeated the Black Cat Pirates. I alone captured Kuro of the Thousand Pants. And <laughs> What if he was just like? <laughs> I like how no one is like freaked out by that. <laughs> oh! Here, I'll save you from the mess I cause. I Ooh. thought he was gonna put on a blindfold. Third sword? He's getting serious. Ah. So that's where it goes. <laughs> I thought he was gonna like kick his head into the sword. Yeah. <laughs> All when fighters call out their finishing moves. No, they don't. Hate to break up this beautiful moment, but we need to get this safe out of here. Find some rope or something. Oh shit. Or we can do that. <laughs> I thought the actor was just jacked. I didn't think the character was jacked too. Oh, look like she got a little bit. Don't forget the other guy. Yeah. What about what? Uh, Kobe is that his name? Yeah. I mean, he's gonna become a Marine, right? No, he doesn't want to anymore because the Marines, well. Oh, he cut his hair. Bro. <laughs> What's wrong with his hair? Yeah, I might have done that. <laughs> I won't let you make a joke of me. I'll be the hero. I might even get a medal or something. <laughs> nice. I also felt really good too. No time to explain, but we gotta go. This whole island is trying to kill us. <laughs> I'm not coming with you. Oh. What did you say? You sure. Before we met, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Well, all right. Mind, I wanna help people that can't help themselves. This is gonna come back in like 500 episodes and he's gonna be a crazy mm -hmm. Marine General. But for now, we're friends. <laughs> Into the water. Bye. I'm sure it won't be really sad when you guys have to like have an altercation later. I feel like uh, maybe he's lost the translation, but one thing I know about One Piece is that Nakama is like a big thing, which is like your comrade. It's like your friend and your comrade. Mm. It's like a it's like a very Ooh, bond book. type thing. So I think that's what he said then. Mm is that like he considers them a good friend more than mm -hmm. just like, oh, we're friends. I love the design. I love, yeah, I love that. The design of the front of that boat. Yeah. I don't love that. In fact, I hate that. Is that a real snail? This is God. It's the guy. Why don't you say? It's the guy from the start. What did they take? Weapons, gold? The map. Change of plan. 
Who's that? Go on Shadow's time. Cool hat. We've been chasing those shadows for a long time. This is different. The map to the Grand Line has been stolen by a pirate in a straw hat. They probably know about Shanks. They probably know about Shanks. Pirates, Captain. And they got them. This guy, he's from the bar. They must have been planning this for months. <clears throat> Oh, uh. The person really likes clowns. <laughs> That's my man. I'm gonna get it back. Buggy. No matter who I have to kill. <laughs> Soundtrack is so really good. Fun. I want to I want to turn on subtitles for what they were saying here at the end because I didn't quite get it. Baroque Works. That was that organization that was trying to recruit. Uh, was name Zoro? Okay. Yeah. He got to know about Shanks. Yeah, it's weird though because like he didn't like Shanks didn't come across as like as, as like crazy of a pirate. You know what I mean? Like like um. You know, the guy that m would have been super on the radar of, like, the top military guy. But at the same time, we don't know, like, the... We like, don't know his we past. Don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know everything about him, so... We don't know his past, yeah. Um... Well, is there one more thing I wanted to check? Uh, I wanted to check... I guess we could see in the credits the... The uh, the, uh, the the is his name Colby or Colby or Covey or Kobe? I couldn't tell if it was Colby or Kobe. 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 And he's really going to be... I've got to get some water. Okay. And what was this guy's name? Um, Asshat? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to Google it. Oh. Helmepo. Great name for a great guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, I just want to clarify a couple things, and I'm sure as we talk, more things will will be questioned, but what'd you think of the first episode? It was actually, like, a lot of things were a lot better than I would have expected. I 100% agree, um, yeah. I feel like there were definitely were some weak points, but all the things that really mattered were really good. Like, especially the three main characters seem to be really well cast. Obviously, we haven't seen the a anime, lot of them. but judging by, like, what I, what I remember from the OPs, uh, and just, just generally just general knowledge about the general show. knowledge about it. It seems like Luffy is uh, like really on point here. Uh, I love Luffy. I feel like, and and I think that it's. I imagine getting the casting right for him was pro. Like I feel like that was really make or break for this show because there is a very specific thing that is being captured here. Um, that is really difficult to capture, I think. Like, I think um, it, it takes a very specific kind of person to be able to play this character and have it feel very genuine. Like, that sort of, like, manic, like... He, it's like he's not even looking at anything, almost. Like, he's like it, he's it, like a guy... He's, he's the guy who sees, like, past the horizon, you know? And yeah. that's kind of, like, what you need for the main character, like, inspirational captain mm -hmm. type figure. And, like, the kind of unhinged and guy, you know? The, just, just based on the things that he's doing. Like, everything that he does is completely ridiculous. Yeah. He, like, is just be making a fool of himself. He's, like, bashing around, waking everyone up, and he's like, But wait. Don't you have a dream? <laughs> <laughs> Smiles. I just love that. Like, yeah, that look he always has. Just like a... Like he 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 gives people a look, like he's gonna kill them. <laughs> like like he looks at people, like that might be the last face that they see. But instead, he's just like, 
hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it, it's, but it works so well because I, like, I feel like it almost needs that like little yeah. bit of a psychotic touch to it or else, and maybe that's not as much in the anime, but I feel like when it's a real person. I mean, have you seen his face? I've seen, I know what he looks like. But just like, just to compare, just that, like it's just this, he pulls off this. If a real person had this face, they'd look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Being able to be that like so overly happy-go-lucky like dreamer kind of guy, it, but it doesn't. But, I, but it doesn't come across as cringy, and I think that it really easily could have mm -hmm. taking like a lot of main anime characters are very like like the Naruto kind of like yeah believe it yeah like super overly enthusiastic that the fact that it worked out so well and I, I feel like intrigued and terrified by him. It's like, like I wouldn't want him as a friend, but he also seems like he would kind of be a really good friend to have because he's going to support you no matter what. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and really break you out of your shell. And, you know, oh, you say you don't have dreams, but he knows you do deep down and he's going he's gonna to help you. Yeah. But at the same time, he's very self-serving and will like manipulate you into becoming part of his crew. <laughs> Uh, and like teaming up with him, yeah, uh, very interesting. Yeah, uh, and he does, but he does, he, it's, he's a pirate. He wants to be king of the pirates. Yet he doesn't see himself. He doesn't see the best pirate that he knew wasn't a, like a bad guy necessarily, yeah. as far as we know. Uh, he's so Luffy's not apparently above, above, definitely not above hurting people. He saw like five pirates on a board and was like, "Wow, I didn't know there were so many." <laughs> On a, oh yeah. There's like millions. Well, he's out like there. so he's like I don't you know killer pirates are all killers and mur or murderers and thieves and blah blah blah. He's just like not the pirates I know. He's like are you what kind of pirates do you know? So it, but he still wants to be the king of it. But then it's like he doesn't agree with like that conception of a pirate. But he he then brings on board a killer and a thief. He and also thief. then like kills an entire ship full of people and then I mean, like comes in here and just beats self the defense. shit out of everyone that he sees. Yeah, but he like he doesn't have any problems with it. He's not like, oh man, I wish I didn't have to kill those people. You know, he's just like, doesn't bother me. <laughs> Smiles. Speaking of death, there's a lot more of it than I thought there would be. And there's more blood than I thought there'd be. I, it makes I, sense that it's a part, that it's a, uh, you know, it's a Netflix series, mm -hmm. right? But it's, there's more, like when Zoro cut that guy in half, you see his like organs and it's like, Jesus yeah. Christ, people are getting shot and then you, you see know? the or hit in the face and blood's all splattered. Mm -hmm. I know? feel like there's like, I feel like also, I feel like a lot of that was like towards the front of the uh, episode, which the I feel like saw, is a strategic decision yeah, yes. of like, we are going to add this in so that people are like, oh, this isn't just a kid's show, right. but at the same time, the rest of the like, like it's like it's like okay, th this is how it's gonna be, but it's not just overly violent for no reason at the yeah. same time. I think I think now that you mentioned, I think that's probably true because I think a lot of people would see these designs and this whole world and think this is like a this is a kid. This is like they. I, I think a lot of people are gonna be making the comparisons to like Pirates of the Caribbean, and was, even that was a Disney thing. Mm -hmm. But the the way the pirates looked, the way that all the like the way that a pirate is portrayed in that is very gritty, rotten teeth, you know, uh, drinking, drinking uh, rum, like drinking, shooting stupid, people, yeah. kidnapping people, being super, creepy. but just the, just the way that they look in the costumes and the makeup is very dirty. Yeah. And then in this, it's like very clean, very bright colors. A lot of like yeah. cartoonish sets, which are incredible by the way, but like the windmill town, like stuff like that, that. like really all cool. those uh, I use in the fronts of all these ships, it's very cartoonish. Mm -hmm. So I think if you are looking for a Pirates of the Caribbean type thing, or just like a, a big blockbuster type experience and you're an adult and are looking at this and don't know about One Piece, say you're a Western person, then it's like, you know, how do we, uh, how do we keep the, keep the vibe of the original and still let people know that it's not just for kids without compromising the integrity of the the visual and the yeah. vision and the aesthetic and everything and you do that by like showing a little bit more grittiness with the with mm -hmm. the action and the violence before people check out because i feel like honestly i feel like this f the first scene here i feel like did not really super intrigue me to watch the rest, if I'm being 100% honest. Like, if I di didn't know anything about One Piece, this just popped up on my, my Netflix and I watched it, I might not, like, like I, I might be like, eh, within the first five minutes, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I didn't, to m but like, this just how I felt, like, I didn't feel like this 
I, I felt like I you liked pulled it. In by I, this. Was, I wasn't pulled well, in by that's, it. That's fine, because this is backstory. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. This is, this, all this is, I, so apparently after watching this episode, I've realized I know a lot more about One Piece than I thought I did. I thought I knew a lot less, but like mm -hmm. a lot of these intro things, like when he eats the devil fruit, I didn't know that he ate it in that situation, but I knew he ate a del devil fruit and, uh, and it gave him his superpowers or whatever. I didn't know how common or uncommon that was. Apparently it's pretty uncommon. Uh oh. I knew about, I knew that, I think I knew that he got a hat from somebody else. That's all I know. Mm. Um, and I knew the names of like the main couple characters here and a couple others that we haven't seen yet. Uh, of Nami and Zoro and Luffy. I didn't know about the other kid. I didn't know about that. Like the, the kid with the glasses, Kobe. Mm. Um, what else did I know? Uh, oh, and then the, there's the start thing, which is what I was getting at. This the start thing with Gold Roger. Um, is I thought his name was Gold D Roger, but I guess it's Gold Roger. Maybe it's a translation thing or a adaptation thing to live action. I'm not sure. Um, Gold Roger is he hid the one piece or his one piece of his treasure and or whatever, and it, that's the, like the big deal. But it's shown at the start of the OPs that like that we watched. Yeah, I remember. And it's a very quick version. This I don't. So they show you that as as far as my la, my little knowledge of the anime is like they show you that, and it's kind of like at the start of Hunter Hunter where they're like a hunter is blah 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 people who or like have a dream. This yes. is a, the laws of equivalent exchange. Because it's a weekly show over years, they want everybody to be caught mm -hmm. up with like the whole vibe of everything. So they tell you what they're looking for at the start every single time. And then there's all this stuff with this guy Garp, uh, who I guess is an admiral or something. Mm -hmm. And um, he, there's more, more dialogue between them. I didn't know anything about like that there was a that he had a relationship with some. I didn't know that about this other guy, this Garp guy or whoever. But that was more than I knew. Although I did know about the start because like they're taking the start thing, and I imagine what they did is there's maybe a flashback to this scene mm -hmm. later in the show, possibly that like gives you more context about like to give you more intrigue about it. And then, but before that, it's all about like the grand mystery of the world. And then mm -hmm. they flesh that out with some backstory later, maybe or something. Um, but instead they put that at the start here to really get people intrigued. Apparently it didn't work on you. Um, if I was watching f without the knowledge of like what the purpose of the scene was, I don't think it would have worked on me either. I will say one thing that I really did like about the scene, I really liked, was it Gold Roger or whatever? Yeah. I liked his design and yes. costuming. It was very effective, and then yeah. as soon as we panned over to this guy, I was like, "Oh, what do you this, mean? like the the you his like costume, his costume, like like this looks very cheap." Oh yeah, a lot of the Marines' uniforms specifically look very cheap. The material, I didn't that, notice that. The materials on them look very thin. They look like they got them off of like they look like, like a, that like, like dollar store foam that you use in arts this, and crafts. This does, but also just the all of the Marines, their uniforms look very, very cheap. Like Amazon costumes. Yeah, yeah. The, like, you can tell the material is not very good, but they also clearly picked where they were going to put their budget. So yeah. I don't mind too much because a lot of like the set pieces look really good. But every once in a while, and I think this is just something that like I tend to notice in like live action stuff because just because i i really like like Costuming, costumes yeah. so it 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 was i did find it a little bit off-putting at times with the quality of some of the costumes especially in comparison to some of the others and also the like details of like like how you mentioned in pirates of the caribbean everything's very dirty yeah. but in this it was like everything was like off the hanger yeah. which can be fine for the marines but when luffy's had this hat for like a million years and a guy before him had the hat for like 40 years um it like i i feel like uh, even like his jeans like he was living on a boat he sunk he was in a fish barrel for like four days and then he looked like he just like took his clothes off the rack and put them on you yeah. know i think i think the reason why i give that uh a the reason why I give that a pass is that they're not making Game of Thrones. They're making an anime yeah. manga adaptation. So, like, they're trying... Again, like, what we talk about with the violence. They're trying to, like, thread that needle of, like, gritty, realistic enough to, like, get people's attention. But also, they have a very clear aesthetic and a very clear vision 
uh, with all with mm-hmm. thousands of hours of or hundreds of hours of, of uh, material to work off of of inspiration and what mm-hmm. is the vision here. So like, if they stray away from that and make it really Pirates of the Caribbean, first of all, it would be very derivative, and I think that they're mm-hmm. trying to make their own thing. That's cl- yeah. that's probably an inspiration, but like they're trying to. They, they, it's a choice rather than just like yeah. cheap, cheap, shitty material. Is my point. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not like criticizing it too much. I'm just saying that I that I, it was something that I noticed. Right. Yeah. I think in general the costumes are good. It's just yeah, they're not dirtying them up and and. Wearing and I'm not them saying that they have to be super lot. super dirty, but but just that they don't look like clothes that people would be wearing. Yeah. You know what I mean. I don't know who this guy is. Yeah, that guy looks important. Uh, with the sideburn things. And he's like, oh, my one piece. Ah, ah, I will say they did a really good job with people's hair. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like every time you see a live action anime ad- adaptation, the wigs are just the most atrocious thing that I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> so, uh. I see a young Shanks here. Or mm-hmm. Somebody like him. I imagine that's Shanks. I think so. Which uh, maybe explains some of the history between these two, mm. if there is any. I wanted to see if I could pick up any more other characters here in the crowd, because there's like a bunch. I noticed this guy. This guy, it, they literally pulled him off the street. It's like we have a we have a guy who looks like he's maybe from the era, and there's this dude just in a polo shirt and like an undershirt with like ear. He's like clean shaven. This this extra looks way too. Maybe he's maybe he's a character, and this is like like a clean shot of a character. But I saw this guy and I'm like, whoa, what what the hell? He he looked really out of place for them to do like a close up of him was was kind of interesting. Well, the, the clothes situation in general is very interesting. It's like the classic anime. Like this lady, we're, we're, in, we're in like a hoodie. Like, and it's the same like Luffy's like- Is it like, a hoodie? It, yeah, like it, ha- it straight up has a zipper on it. I mean, zippers aren't aren't modern necessarily. Zipper zippers existed. No, but it, I mean, it, it it like has the little strings. Like it's very it's very like trendy normal hoodie. So it's like and like this guy Some too. Of the like clothes the clothes are, are, are very modern. very modern. But that's that's the thing in the series as well. If well, you look at what, character that's designs, that's what I was saying. Yeah. It's like the classic anime thing, like how in Naruto they're all wearing like well in Naruto the it's dr- dripped out outfits. It's set in a generally realistic environment for most of the time. A lot of people are like, is there electricity in Naruto? There there is. There's lights all over the place and like cookware and you know things. But in this, it's there's a lot of collars. There's a lot of like more modern looking clothes. It's just that I guess when you put it in real life, it's more noticeable that like there's people like the Marines or people like this guy and like pirates wearing mm-hmm. piratey clothes, and then there's just guys with a suit and tie. You yeah. Know? Um, like a modern looking suit and tie. Mm-hmm. It's just noticeable in this format. Who the hell is this? Who's this guy? In the green shirt. Hmm. And there's blue hair running past. I don't know if that was just nobody. Yeah, I love how this guy's playing completely backfired. Yeah. I'm gonna kill this pirate as an example, and then he's just like, I have a game for you to play. Yeah. I also just love how he didn't say anything about one like a one piece. He was just like, I found everything there is to find. Now go find it for yourself. And then Luffy's just like, I'm gonna find the one piece. It's like where did you get that from? Did you just make this up? Yeah, I feel like that could be pretty confusing, because they say one piece in the in the like title sequence, yeah, of the I, show. I remembered that too. It like it because it that's the point of that scene in the anime is it's like, oh, I'm you know a twelve year old who's watching the two hundredth episode for the fir- as my first introduction to the show mm-hmm. or whatever is one hundred fiftieth. Here, that's now I I'm caught up and know what the whole deal is generally speaking. I want to say again the actor the acting of the main three actors is really good. I like they like it's not always the most realistic acting. But, like, I believe their character, and I believe their personality, mm-hmm. and they're funny when they're funny, and they feel, like, especially Nami's actor, I think is probably the best out of the three, in my opinion. Just the emotion that she brings to the performance, the, when, like, the sort of, uh, movement, I don't know, like, mm-hmm. like the, the, the effect that she puts on her, on her intonations and stuff like that is, uh, realistic feeling. This guy... Whatever his name was that we Helm Polo Hel- He's Helmo- literally like Helmepo? the worst Helmepo? guy. I hate him so much. <laughs> what a piece of shit. I can't wait f- like way down the line for when they meet again on the opposite sides. Yeah. It's going to be so sick. And then we see Buggy here at the end apparently is his name. Clown man, my favorite fucking thing. Yeah. Ever? Are you excited? Yeah. 
Uh, oh, I liked uh, Captain Morgan. I, li I think it's fu it's probably hilarious. I mean, you know, I, I'm probably I'm nowhere near the first person to make the Captain Morgan thing, mm -hmm. but uh, it's funny that they that, that his name is Captain Morgan. I'm sure that anybody that's mm -hmm. that's the kind of thing that I imagine would really connect with like my stepdad who would watch this for the first time or something <laughs> like if they just want to watch a pirate thing and then, the, and then, then it's they captain start, morgan is like, like oh, oh that's, that's funny. funny yeah um i love luffy i can't but i speaking of like his whole psychotic pers personage uh, or his psychotic facial features here i wonder if he's gonna if like i wonder if i'm just falling in love with <laughs> this, this performance, version. or if I, or if the character if matches up. Pretty yeah, well. that's what that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, am I gonna go to the anime and then just be disappointed <laughs> that I don't have this guy? Like, can we just take like this guy and then like put him in the anime? Every other character is just anime. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll find out. We're gonna check out episode two. Make sure to leave like and subscribe. Check out Patreon to get more. I'm not sure how many more, you can but you'll check by going to Patreon. Link in the description. Check out our, our main channel for other reactions to other stuff. And uh, please subscribe to the Boldcast One Piece experience. Mm -hmm. See you in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay.